YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's beautiful over here in Southern California. Just came back from a walk with Master Yoda. We did a bath this morning, went for a walk, doing very well. This is Javier with JRG Reptiles. We have the last clutch of 2018. Wow, I don't believe it. My incubator is pretty much empty. So this is my last clutch that we're going to do for 2018. The pairing was a vanilla scream male to a fire female. The babies have pipped. There's nine eggs in this clutch. You guys are going to help me cut these eggs. So let me go ahead and take this present seal off. And let me go ahead and zoom this in a little bit more so we can actually see what we're looking at here. So there's a clutch. Wow, I don't believe it. We went through 22 clutches this year. Unbelievable. And uh, hopefully we get something good in this clutch. I'm hoping for some super fires. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and I guess we will do this one first. So again, no camera person. I'm going to put this on pause, cut the egg, and show you guys. Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, this is number one. To me, looks like it has vanilla. Looks like it has pastel in there. Looks like it... Well, I think that's it. Vanilla pastel. Either that or fire pastel. Won't know until they come out of the eggs. But a, a, a lot of nice blushing around the body and on the head that head looks vanilla to me so I'm gonna say pastel vanilla okay so we'll put this one back right there and now we're going to do this one right here hang on wow guys I'm super excited check it out super fire very nice beautiful beautiful animal Seems pure white. I know some of the super fires will have a little bit of tanning or orange stripes on their back, but this one seems to be pure white for now anyway. Don't see anything else, but wow, that is a beautiful snake. So it's basically like a Lucy in color, I guess, but instead of blue eyes, it has black eyes. It's a super fire. Okay. Put you down right there. There's a picture of the whole clutch. Now we're going to do the one right next to it, right here. Hold on. Wow, guys. This is number three. Super light. I don't know if it's a firefly. Or maybe it's a vanilla scream even. Who knows? I don't know. But it's pretty dang light. I don't think it's a vanilla scream. But beautiful, beautiful animal. He almost stuck his head out there for a minute. So this is number three. We'll put him back. Okay. There's a picture of the clutch again. Very nice. Super happy so far. Looks like we got another white head sticking out right there. So I'll do that one next. Hold on. Okay, guys. Cut the egg open. This thing is absolutely beautiful. You know what? I'm looking at the animal. I'm looking at the back. I don't see any color other than white. So I don't know if there's... Maybe it's hiding the vanilla or the pastel or what. I'm not sure. But there's a super fire right there. Very nice animal. Super happy. At least I got two of them so far. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put this guy back. There's a clutch again. Wow, two super fires. I've never produced a super fire before. This is the first time, so I'm excited. Okay, now we'll do this one right here. His head's sticking out right there. Hold on. Okay, guys, here's the next one. Now, this one looks sort of dark. I'm thinking that this has fire and vanilla. And I think that's all that there is in there. Fire, vanilla. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. 
Very nice. Fire vanilla. And you see it has the little spot on the tip of its nose like a spot nose. But there's no spot nose in this pairing. It wasn't a Who's Your Daddy's Clutch. It was just the uh, vanilla scream bred to the fire. So there it is. There's the next one. Okay, so we'll put this one back. Just like that. And again, there's the whole clutch. Next, let's do this one over here in the corner. Hang on. Okay, guys, here's the next one. To me, I'm thinking it's a fire. Could have vanilla in it, but I won't know until it comes out of the egg. But nice looking snake anyway. Fires are cool. The mother was a fire by itself. So we'll see what happens when it comes out. Beautiful pattern, though. I like that granity look on the sides. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this one right here. Let me just make sure that the egg is good. Right about there. Oh, there you go. Stuck his head out for a second. Let's take a look. Hmm, not sure. Okay, there's the clutch. Alrighty, we've done two, four, five of them. we got four more to go. No, we've done six of them. We have three more to go. Let's do this one up here. Hold on. Wow, guys. Again, look at that. Looks like another fire. Or maybe it's just a vanilla. I'm not sure. If you know, comment down below. Okay. That's a real small egg. egg. For some reason, this, I think, is the smallest egg. Feels small in the hand. So again, there we go. There's a picture of the whole clutch. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do this one. And then we have this one over here that hasn't pipped. We'll do that one last. So you're the next one. Hang on, guys. All right, guys. Here's number seven. Beautiful animal. I'm not sure what it is. But I'm thinking it has pastel, maybe vanilla, or maybe fire. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Nice, light, washed out head. Liking it, liking it very much. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this one down. And again, there's the whole clutch. Now we're going to do this last one that has not pipped yet. It's the one right over here. So hang on again. Let me cut it open. We'll see what we got. Hold on. Yes! Another super fire. Wow. I am excited. Look at that, guys. These super fires, too, for some reason, I don't see any markings on the back like usually. I guess not all of them have it, but these things are just white, white, white. Super excited. Wow. And that egg, man, it was under extreme pressure. When when I cut it, it just popped open. All kinds of goop fell everywhere. Look at that. Got it everywhere. So, wow, I'm excited. That is cool. What a way to end the season. Three super fires. That is awesome. Man, you know what? I really appreciate you guys going on this journey with me, showing you my hatchlings, showing you when I'm pulling the eggs, cutting the eggs after they shed out, showing you the babies. I'm so excited with my collection. You know, yes, like everybody else, I buy animals to make my collection better. It's always evolving collection every year it gets a little better a little better so again i've never produced super fires i'm super excited all my hatchling racks are completely full the genetic hunters they just did a auction i sold some animals so hopefully i can make some room as you can see i am completely full this other hatchling rack over here is completely full. Okay. Hey, but I got some good news. My incubator is empty. 
and Yoda's got a walk, had a bath, looking good. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thanks for putting up with me. I know I'm not the best 